the public also plays in Kiev. If we are talking about Kiev and football, our memory will inevitably lead us to 2012. On reflection, a Sabina song comes to mind, in which the man of Ubeda, paraphrasing the poet Felix Grant, says, where you have been happy, you must not try to come back. But this is where Spain returns, to Kiev, where it was happy and enjoyed its last great success with a 4-0 victory against Italy in the final of the European Championship eight years ago. Unforgettable. I don't know if it was also living beyond our means, but it was joyful. Spain and Ukraine are in this group stage of the League of Nations and a lot has changed since the Madrid game a month ago, follow the match liveonest.com. At the time, there was an uncomfortable opponent who ended up losing 4-0 and has since settled his three matches with as many defeats. On the eve of this match, we were talking about Ansu Fati, the Azul Grana player had just made his debut with Roja against Germany in the opening match of the League of Nations, but not as much as after the game because it was he who broke the goal by forcing the penalty that led to the first goal in the second minute and signing the 3-0 with which he made history by becoming the youngest player of the team, then aged 17 years and 311 days, to score since Juan Erosquin did so in 1925, against Switzerland, with 18 years and 344 days. But there is another remarkable aspect that differentiates this match in Valdebas from the one that is being played today at the Olympic Stadium in Kiev, the crowd. The Ukrainian team will benefit tonight from the support of its supporters, about 15,000 will be in the stands, which Luis Enrique does not lose sleep. The Asturian prefers to see the glass half full rather than half empty, playing with the spectators is a bit optimistic because it seems that we can find normality. I'll tell the players to think they're encouraging us. As for the possible starting 11, the coach kept his cards close to his chest at yesterday's press conference, which makes sense not to give Andrei Shevchenko any clues. De Gea will once again be at the heart of the action, and all indications are that Pau Torres will once again be the partner at the heart of Ramos's defense, which will not be surprised if a smile escapes him today as soon as he enters the field. He was the starter in the 4-0 win over Italy in 2012, Busquets and Navas are the other two players who, along with Camus, remain in this European Championship team, as well as in the 2018 Champions final played against Liverpool of his brush with the acrobatic goal of Salah and Bale. Ra Audrey is likely to be the helm after Busquets' two consecutive games, while Rodrigo Moreno may have the opportunity to train again in attack. Gerard Moreno and Diego Llorente finally stayed in Madrid because of their muscle problems. Across the street, Shevchenko is looking for chairs and tables around Kiev where he can touch wood, given the bad luck that has followed him in recent days. COVID-19 left their first-choice goalkeeper, veteran Payatov and midfielder Stepanenko out of action. The former Blown Door winner is also without two other goalkeepers, Pankov and Lunin. The honor of the country is therefore in the hands of Bakshan, who conceded seven goals in the 7-1 friendly victory against France. And make a big mistake on Saturday against Germany, 2-1, that leaves our opponents in the penultimate round of Group 4 tonight. Malinovsky and Zinchenko are also out of the running to face a Spanish side which according to Shevchenko, doesn't allow you to easily do what you want. That's football, playing and not being played. And let the audience vibrate in the stands. Today is a new step towards real football, 